Hello and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten. But first, what are we drinking? Season of the Witch, my bar. Pounded this pretty hard the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about 1981's Dead and Buried. It's directed by uh, Gary Sherman and he did Raw Meat. Mind the door! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he also did Poltergeist 3. James Ferentino is in this. Lisa Blount is in this. And she was in Prince of Darkness, of course. Robert England is in this. Jack Alberston is also in this. And uh, he was Grandpa Joe in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Dead and Buried starts off with this photographer kind of on the beach. In Potter's Bluff. He runs into this really good looking girl starts huh. shooting pictures of her and it's like oh, this is kind of a little too good to be true right now right? <laughs> opens her shirt and hey hey, hey now <laughs> all these towns people kind of crowd the beach and they take this poor bastard and beat the <laughs> shit out of him and <laughs> they all whack his shins with a crowbar yeah. <laughs> taking pictures of them as they're beating them and they tie them to this post and they burn the poor fucker alive. <laughs> the police get called to the car accident that's happened on the highway. Fire department's putting it out. The sheriff, Dan Gillis, shows up. You see the poor guy burned in there. You think he's dead and suddenly, ah! the guy starts <laughs> screaming. So Gillis goes to visit Dobbs, the coroner at his office. Did the burns happen from that accident or was he burned elsewhere and placed in the car? Learn that Dobbs is a little eccentric, a little odd, loves his job and he considers it an art. We then get shown this bum who's pissed out of his fucking <laughs> face, swarmed again by the townsfolk and his take pictures of him mm -hmm. and start killing him with these hooks. The sheriff goes to the hospital to see this burned victim. A very terrifying image of this oh, guy yeah. in the bed all bandaged up. And he's got no lips. Yeah. yeah. You just see his teeth. Yeah. Like just before the sheriff is led inside, the nurse shows up. And, well, you might recognize her, she's the girl from the beach. Oh. The sheriff goes in to conduct his interview, the guy's dead, his lead is gone. Her family is driving through this town, and they stop at this diner to get directions. And you kind of look around, and you see all the patrons and the employees, and it's all these people that you've seen taking the pictures at these yeah. murder scenes. One of the guys who actually helps them give directions is the guy who was burnt alive on the beach. So they're driving and someone kind of runs in front of the car and dad swerves and he hits his post and the kid all, <laughs> yeah. So they go to the nearest house to get help. And the house is abandoned, it's all cobwebs and it's great dark atmosphere. All these people start entering the house with machetes and all these weapons. And, and their cameras yeah, again. They're, and they're right? taking pictures of this family and the family tries to get out and they eventually do. Townsfolk gets on the hood of the car and starts like smashing the windshield. <laughs> that same night, Dan Gillis is driving, he accidentally hits a pedestrian. There's an arm that's been ripped off the guy's torso and stuck to his grill. <laughs> yeah. And it's moving. This guy gets up and takes his arm back and runs off. He gets some scrapings off the grill of his vehicle. He takes it to the town doctor to get them analyzed. Dan Gillis gets the information back. The little skin fragments and stuff are like four months De deceased. Yeah. He goes to the cemetery to dig up the grave of the guy who burnt alive yeah. in the car. Nobody's in the coffin. Dobbs comes up to him and starts complaining to him that there's a body missing from his morgue. And Dobbs is also very, very keen on covering it up. So he starts doing some digging on this Dobbs. And his wife, she gave him some footage and he's taken it down to get developed. When he gets it back, he notices that his wife has been having an affair with somebody but she ends up killing the fucking poor bastard. There's all the townspeople around watching, watching and taking pictures and sort of almost getting involved. Yeah. And who is there is fucking Dobbs. Yeah, laughing and having a gay old yeah. time. <laughs> Dobbs! <laughs> yeah. He goes and confronts Dobbs about this fucking strange footage. Yeah. That's where yeah. we're going to end it because the story continues to unravel. Which is one of the hallmarks about this movie is the actual story. It's so different. There's nothing like it. It's so original. It's so original. It's a small town that's got some little secret, but it's a crazier secret than you'd 
ever expect. <laughs> yeah. This harks back to the mind control voodoo zombies that are doing the bidding of a yeah. higher power. There's also the murder mystery aspect of it. You see who's doing it, but why are they doing yeah. it? The why is the big question. <laughs> why are they gathering in droves and taking pictures yeah. of people and murdering them? The atmosphere of this movie is really cool. It's dark and dreary and always cloudy and kind of raining. It almost feels dead. Yeah, exactly. Right? The town does feel dead. The effects were done by the effects master himself, Stan Winston. He's done The Thing. Terminator yeah. 2. Aliens. Okay. Tons. Like, the guys won multiple Academy Awards for his effects work. That's why these are yeah. so good. The burned body when he's hanging upside oh. down the car is like, ooh, that's, that looks pretty goddamn real. The acid? Yeah. They, they <laughs> pump the acid through the guy's nose. Yeah. And, ah! You see his face melt? There's a really, really cool scene where it shows Dobbs preparing a body. Time lapsed and it shows him basically take the face apart yeah. and putting it back together again. It looks pretty fucking amazing. It, it looks fucking real. Yeah. I know she's gonna come back to life. Where's gonna be the cut between yeah. this dummy and the and the actor? Yeah. I didn't. And, yeah. It's and like some, then suddenly she's just blinking and like. It's like what the fuck? CGI ain't gonna do that. The acting for this movie too is just top notch. Yes. You believe everything that's happening in this yeah. town, right? Especially like. The, the dynamic between the sheriff and Dobbs. Feel it, you, yeah. you know that they're supposed to be working together, but you feel the tension. gap. Yeah, you feel the, the tension, right? Exactly, yeah, it's yeah. cool. Dobbs as being kind of the, the villain of the movie, he's great. <laughs> when you find out what he's up to at the end and his motivation behind what he's doing, it, it's so original, there's nothing like it. It's totally put Dobbs as being very underrated movie villain. You don't really see it coming until like the very yeah. end, yeah. right? Dobbs! <laughs> Which leads us to the perfect ending twist to this movie, right? And it's a perfect payoff because you're never bored through the whole movie. No. You're also kind of riding this this wave of like the investigation. And then at the end, it's like, oh my God, I saw all the clues throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Wicked. No, it's a crazy, <laughs> cool twist at the end. It does everything to the best of its ability for 1981. For 1981. This movie has everything that a horror movie lover could ever want. So if you haven't seen Dead and Buried, please, please check it out. And it's funny because the name of the movie isn't really what the movie is about. It was a little misleading, but please check it out, and until next time, keep drinking. <laughs> Making all these weird... <laughs> yeah, I know. It sounded like... She was drinking Yeah, something. it sounded like, like water, like jiggling around in her belly or something. Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs>